the ball, right? Understanding that you, with the footwork pattern, you is very important to understanding which is the ball, right? You're gonna go with either an open triangle, which generally leads to a side step. If you need the high line, and I do my slip on the ball, I can step on the on the inside line to get to the outside line, right? If you need the mid line, I can go again inside to get to the outside line. If you go low line, I can go here and then move to the move to the outside line, right? Now you can also go high line. I can jam inward, go into zero pressure, make it a weaker strike. And, being, and having less force, then I can go to the outside line, right? You can go midline, I can jam again, then or down into the outside line, right? If you go low line, I can jam inwards while still weak, right? So if you're putting a lot of force into it, the beauty is when I go in, right? This can generally stop it just enough for me to go to that position. I mean, as soon as I tap it, it's already gonna fly that way, generally speaking, if, if, it, if, if it's a fast thrust. Now, um, at Chiquete, generally you're gonna to move to the outside line. High line, you're gonna to move to the outside line. Low line, you move to the outside line. If you're going jumping, right? Right? Moving to the outside line. Good line. Line, right? Then you move to outside line first because it allows you to engage that carry. If you try to go to inside line and throw the units, I'm gonna eat it. Even if I parry and I step inside, I will eat the shot. So I don't want to step to the inside line on that. That's why the first one first in the second Lebo series is the uh, Two button. And hack. Double hack first. 